Come back alive, my friend. You want to survive, don't you? Talk about an arms race. <laughs> you don't want to go out there empty handed.
Hey, Brad, can you arrange a covert evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story? I keep thinking, this is exactly what Frank would do. Yes, Vic, I am all the evils in the world. Well, you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Pfft, whatever, he was fine. Uh-huh, sure he was. Let me sort out the evac. Park out. Asshole. Pierce has a detachment at the end of the block. I am definitely not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. It's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's Get not what I'm doing. Shut up! It's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for. 
how the outbreak began and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! No, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop! <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. <sighs> get out of here, rookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus. It's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. 15 years? That's back to the original outbreak. Yes. This project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here in Willamette. And let me guess. Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look. Take a picture if you want. Just gotta line it up. That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his. And both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the Horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. Ah, never get sick of this. Oh yeah. Now we're playing with power. Pew, 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 pow, pow, pow. You'll find what you're looking for in that lab.
to the winery. Hopefully you should contain the evidence we've been looking for. Roger. Garrus is here.
Wow! Nice digs, Barnaby. Oh man, get it together, Frank! <laughs> what the hell happened over there? Promising! I'm a handsome devil. Hey Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here though. Did he leave anything behind? Yeah, maybe. Files are all gone. Shit. You can't hide from me. Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. Barnaby's computer stuff. I ever love to get my hands on that. Damn it! It looks like Obscurus confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Oh, well, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F-L-A-M-E-L. Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay, pictures. Lots of pictures.
Calder. I don't know what it is. Big, that's for sure. And it's got friends. Some kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism? Died years back in the original Willamette outbreak? His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for it. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. All right, I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. 